<clears throat> uh, the first one, experiments. Um, that is speaking about uh, manipulation, uh, for forcing change in the sense of cruel and cruel ways. Um, it's also the, the, the kind of energy that pushes you to sort of break through and, and really have a pursuit, pursuit and knowledge of maybe truth or getting rid of er arrogance or manipulation, whatever that might be for you. It is a kind of energy that sort of wakes you up and it gets you to this place of questioning. Is, is that where you're leading right now? You know, um, it is manipulative uh, energy. So maybe you're coming out, you're breaking free of something that has been manipulative okay and then you have the sanctuary so the sanctuary is talking about um keeping those that dark matter out you know um if there's things in your life that keep causing you to go towards this kind of a darkness or manipulation the, the way you get out of that is by creating your sanctuary by creating uh, that sense of personal space, um, boundaries, you know, what are you allowing to come in? Uh, and then you have um, the farewell to the moon. So this is really appreciating cycles um, in that sense of maybe you're saying farewell to darkness, to things that have just sort of lingered in your life, a stagnation kind of things where you feel like you want to move forward, but you can't. So this card brings in a lot of change. It gives you that sense of balancing um, in that sense where you probably don't want to look back in the past. You want to look towards the future. This is also that kind of energy that opens up your intuition, your, your, that kind of knowledge that you're born with, but it sort of has been buried for a long time. Um, and then you have the yearning and the time out. Maybe you're separated from a place or a person or a situation that brings you that happiness or that connection. And at this point, maybe you're in a separation as far as time out, you know, maybe questioning it or thinking about it. Um, this yearning is really this kind of um, feeling where you're, you're longing for either a connection for someone maybe you know, or um, maybe, maybe even wanting to get back with someone um you know you'd have to take it as a resonate because if it isn't a person for you it, it could be a situation you know um so take it as it resonates for you but you might be in a separation because that speaks about separation from something or someone that you really you have opinion in your heart for you know um so with this time out this is that sense of finding clarity um, you know, getting yourself to this place of where you're not being manipulated by things. Um, so let's see what's at the top of the deck here. The top of the deck, Song of the Siren. So this is about communication. This is about speaking up. Um, you know, whatever you might be holding in as far as emotion or feelings you're not talking about. This is voicing those things and really acknowledging your feelings. Um, and it is a number five. So is this the change? Is this that change where you're starting to speak up and not so much be a doormat and really let things sort of um, almost like be told, like you're being told what to do, but now you're standing up and having your own voice. I don't know what the situation might be. Like I said, you have to take it as it resonates. And then at the bottom of the deck, see, this is that vulnerability card. This is about allowing your true feelings to emerge. Um, this is opening your heart and really allowing yourself to be the leader instead of perhaps being a, being a follower or, uh, you know, there's something there that's, you have to remember the very first card, it's a very dark card. So are you sort of being, I don't know, gaslighted or somewhat maybe drawn into the wrong thing but this is where you stand up for yourself and allow some vulnerability some feeling uh perhaps maybe needing to speak up about something is this a relationship is this a job is this something with family i mean you got to take it as as it resonates for you today but i am sure gonna go in a little deeper and see what these mean for you guys so welcome please like share and subscribe 
uh, leave me your comments. I do read them. Um, thank you so much for your support. I do always appreciate you guys. And I just was sort of forced into taking a day off yesterday and I worked half the day and then just had an unexpected visitor. And you know what? I think I needed it because I feel a lot better. Um, a lot of stuff going on. So, you know, I, I guess God sort of puts those kind of moments in my life and says, you're doing it. And I said, OK, I'm not going to I'm not going to fight it. I'll just go with the flow. So here I am today, guys. Um, experiments. What does this mean? What does this mean, please? Now, you have an opportunity to either perhaps go back towards something simpler or happier or um, something from the past, you know, um, having some kind of clarity or some kind of pull towards the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is very powerful in that sense of maybe you're thinking about it for you've been thinking about it for a while. Um, let's see what this one is as well. The Page of Cups, something is forming, something new, some sort of emotion. Um, yeah, I sort of lost my train of thought as far as what I was saying before I saw that Six of Cups. It'll come back, though. Um, you got the Knight of Swords rushing in. Something, something about contemplating and perhaps contemplating the darkness versus the light as far as weighing your pros and cons. I see somebody somewhat looking towards the past. Is it towards a person? Is it towards a place, um, a home, a, a neighborhood, a family? I think maybe kindred spirit as far as love and twin flame kind of a thing. Um, is this somebody wanting to rush in and start over uh, in that sense of being able to have one ability to move on this situation? Um, let's see. What is the Six of Cups, please? So something that you've sort of been masking, maybe you've allowed others in your environment or whatever the situation might be for you. You've allowed others to maybe drown out what your feelings are because you're you're doing what they're telling you, you know? Uh, but there's something there that um, perhaps you just spent so much time thinking about it and now you wanna take charge. Now you sort of wanna revisit this or is this a lost love from the past? Is this you going back towards the past to simplify your life and be happier? Um, you know, there is that sense of moving out of darkness so you can have harmony in your life. What is the Six of Cups? What is this? So you have the nine of cups. So your wish is coming true. Okay. The page of cups. What is the page of cups? Taking off the mask, seeing reality. Um, that gives you that spark of new hope is, is what I feel with the page of cups. Is this communication? You got the start. Oh my gosh, you got the start and the nine of cups. So whatever this is for you, I have to tell you, just keep hope keep working on the, that shadow self. Maybe this is you or your divine masculine or you and your divine feminine doing that shadow work, taking rid of, getting rid of that shadow, you know, um, which causes doubt and fear and that sense of not being able to move and sort of compliancy, you know, because you're just sort of scared. Um, what is the knight of swords knight of swords so i see this as communication both of them the page of cups and the knight of swords um is this somebody coming in swiftly is this somebody breaking down the door to sort of communicate um what is the knight of swords knight of swords please so you have the page of pentacles uh, this definitely could be that kind of energy of whoever this is whether this is you or them um, maybe learning how to be more vulnerable, how to be more expressive, how to perhaps maybe make this an action versus a thought, all right? Because there's a lot of thought here. Um, and I see, like I said in the very beginning, there's somebody that's weighing the pros and the cons, the good and the bad of things. Um, are you starting to wake up that maybe you were following the dark stuff and not really following the light, you know? manipulated you know maybe this is an environment whether it's with family with the spouse at work whatever that might be for you it's almost as if you've sort of followed the wrong thing but you're sort of having this awakening that you can change that uh for the better um i want to know what is the star what's the star 
your, your wishes and your your prayers will come too. okay the knight of cups and the three of swords so some sort of heartbreak mending some kind of maybe heartbreak um i do feel like if this is prayers for your masculine to get over maybe heartbreak depression sadness uh, maybe um even that sense of separation um loneliness um, I do feel like the, these are healing energies that are being sent to Divine Masculine, perhaps by, by uh, Divine Feminine or vice versa. It could be the other way around. But it's almost as if with the King of Cups of reaching this sort of conclusion that uh, they don't want to hold back from from maybe love. Maybe this is somebody who's discovering how to love themselves again. Um because I do feel the star is really that reju re regeneration um, that sort of gives you this healing power. It's deep healing power that really um, transforms. So I think whoever this is for you, the King of Cups, they're under this great deep healing. It's almost like I could just see uh, the wing, you know, the wing of angel, the wing of God, whatever that might be protecting this person. And whoever this is, you're sending a lot of prayers to this person. I feel like it's reaching them um, because I really do feel like this. This is a renewal. This is what's giving that spark of hope with the page of cups and the knight of swords. So I, I do feel like that is somebody who's learning to love themselves. Maybe somebody who's learning to maybe be more expressive when it comes to love um feeling vulnerable in that sense of wanting to maybe um you know start something new or start communicating um there's definitely that sense of a strong or love right here with this king of cups um perhaps healing guys uh really i think that whoever this is that's been led by darkness is healing and this is definitely that masculine energy um, that's trying to break free from this three of swords whether it's a third party situation or just those dark kind of karmic situations that you know we may keep ourselves in but there's that sense of an epiphany happening here of, of changing that of moving out of um, some sort of um, oh my goodness um, just cruelty and manipulation but it's forcing a change the cruelty and manipulation that's happened in the past is sort of opening up so that you can take action and move yourself away from it okay whatever that might be maybe it's a cruel marriage or a cruel family situation or that sense of just being lost the lost soul for so long and not knowing how to go towards the light meaning when i say light i'm talking about god guys i'm talking god is pure love and light um you know so is this somebody surrendering to that light you know that's what uh, twin flames are if we're in ascension we you know we ascend oh sorry that is totally me not my dogs just moving around sorry about that guys and i'm not edited so i never stop and edit stuff i want you to see that it's true um, what is the sanctuary, please? What is the sanctuary? Um, I feel like this is somebody who's done some shadow work and perhaps put some boundaries up. Um, feeling more comfortable, feeling more connected to yourself in the sense of being able to know which way you want to move. Uh, and these were really hard steps to be able to take for whoever this is today. Okay, because look at that. You got the seven of swords seven of swords the high priestess this could be a mother figure maybe this is the person that runs your home the boss you know um and the hierophant so see this is that change um are you speaking up for yourself are you coming out of maybe a cheating relationship a thiefing relationship has someone taken something from you has maybe a person taken this from you because you've listened to them for so long this is where the higher friend is breaking that pattern it's changing it okay um it's through spirituality that light that you're choosing to follow um it's through prayer it's through hope and faith and this is you holding that key to change that whether that's your person or you in this story okay um but i just get this high priestess as Either in your mind, 
you know you've been held to that three of swords and the seven of swords where you couldn't break free from it in your mind okay or it's an actual person a mother a wife a boss um someone who's just created a lot of um treachery on you okay um but the change here with the hierophant is that you're creating your own sanctuary you're pulling yourself apart from that and having clarity okay um what is the hierophant is this a change is this like a boss like meaning a marriage like you're in a marriage and it's a one-way it's a one-way street like they say they call the shots it's like you don't have a backbone to change things for whoever that is i don't know okay you have to tell me but that's exactly what sort of flashed in um so i want to know with the hierophant you got the seven of pentacles so this could be the roadblock this could have been that thing of not being able to move forward but yet in your mind you want to be successful you want to reap what you sow you want to have success so that could have been your blockage but see with the seven of pentacles and the hierophant it's almost as if maybe you hold the key to that blockage and you're ending that blockage okay what is the high priestess it's a sort of a knowing in the gut feeling that maybe you've been following something dark and you've known it for a long time but you continue to do it um and when i mean dark it's those manipulations those lies the 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 fear um the compliance you know um, and this could be in a family a home or you know a love situation or just how you held yourself you know um so you have the ace of cups and the page of swords look at all the new beginnings here with the page of swords and the ace of cups um you know that you got the page of cups there and the page of pentacles those are all new beginnings these are all these openings to allow you to sort of change things okay whether it's you or your person that's experienced this experiencing this you're listening to yourself and perhaps maybe in the past you've had that kind of energy of i don't think that that's true i'd rather listen to that dark stuff rather than what my body or my mind is telling me okay i think this is someone who's woken up to this like okay maybe there is some truth in this light and this intuition and these feelings that i'm getting okay what is the seven of swords so that is somebody uh, sort of coming out of that energy okay you have um the knight of cups so see yet again this is that place of starting over that place of getting breaking free or getting away from that seven of swords energy feeling trapped feeling like you have to do the same thing over and over um it's almost like you're breaking free out of that cookie cutter kind of life and you're branching out to your own okay and that's what's going to give this a new beginning for you and your person um let's see let's see what this is here so what is i want to know what is the farewell to the moon farewell to the moon what is the farewell to the moon so the nine of wands letting go of fear um the death card having that transformation you know um for a long time maybe you've had this feeling or this pull to let go of things and transform and you know sort of rejuvenate your energy um but for a long time you've been held in fear or you maybe concentrate traded on all the hurt or pain that you've accumulated through your life but this is where you sort of have to break free from that so that you can continue maybe not think about that stuff anymore maybe let it go maybe apologize maybe mend something is this within yourself so that you can go forward and really um take this manifestation to where you want it to go um let's see this one as well is, is calling me the six of wands so see you're gonna have success you're gonna have that victory that sense of oh my god i've been struggling for so long and then everything is sort of gonna get easier okay so hang in there really is what i can tell you um what is the nine of wands oh my gosh the nine of wands the two of cups guys this is a love affair of of all um either this is you letting go of the pain so that you can bring in this two of cups okay is this two of cups with somebody you already know or is this two of cups perhaps the future of you meeting this person that just gives you the happiness did you um it's almost like 
what I feel it could be, it could be somebody new for, for some of you. For some of you, it's a returning, it's a returning person. It's something that you want to mend. Uh, maybe something that you want to sort of um, heal. Mend, heal, is, I keep hearing the same thing, mending and healing something. So is this your movement forward of breaking down maybe the past pain that you held for yourself um, and now you're breaking free in order for you to move forward for it, okay? To this Two of Cups, I do believe it's a twin flame. I do feel it's soulmate. Um, there is victory there. Um, and the death card is really that that death of the old pattern, which allows the new pattern to come in, okay? What is the death card? Okay, so you got the temperance, so be patient. Don't give up hope. Um, things are coming together. It's divine timing, okay? Um, and then you got the Ten of Pentacles, so that happy that that you you reach you'll reach that level of success and that happiness and the 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 magician so um really that sense of starting over um beginning again which is not bad um yeah i think that these are all the things that you're sort of saying goodbye to the old patterns so that you can allow the new things and if you're not doing it then maybe you should start working on the shadow work okay um let's see here uh let's see what this yearning is what is the yearning please the yearning um you know that love that lost love is what i hear um the yearning please uh, this could be you this could be them i think it's both energies really yearning um what is that please the moon uh so changing maybe taking down that false mask um of where you didn't speak things of where maybe you feared change or you know it's almost like you're you're having you're coming out of the fog and you're having some kind of clarity what is the moon you got the eight of cups and the chariot so this yearning here it hasn't gone anywhere anywhere okay you might have led up life of what other people wanted it to be you know you're living for others i feel especially with the very first card in that sense of maybe you being compliant to somebody because they say that's just the law or just the way you're supposed to be um <clears throat> but there is something here with the moon the eight of cups and the chariot that is saying you no longer hold on to that fear. You will be able to see things that will give you clarity that allow you to move away from those, the that eight of cups, the, the things that are unfulfilling, the lies, the manipulate uh, manipulation, the fear, that kind of thing. And you're really able to take action. So whoever this is, they're going to be able to take action towards you, whether this is you going towards them or them coming towards you. I think that you have to sort of sit back and as I'm sitting here, I see the temperance, meaning um, there's things happening underneath the surface that you don't see that are sort of hap helping you in your cause, okay? Um, you'll start seeing these things come to the surface more where you can see, touch, and feel tangible things, okay? Um, or people. Um, I do feel with the temperance, it's like those things being put together for you. And perhaps you just don't see it yet. So what I'm trying to spit out is um, don't lose hope and faith in this situation because somebody's gaining their their freedom and their sense of victory that's going to allow them to take action on this yearning. And remember, we saw the Six of Cups and the Page of Cups early on. So is this that love? Is that that person? You're not going to listen to the old paradigm anymore and keep you stuck in something that you're just not really happy in. Okay. Um, I want to know how does the story end for today? How does the story end for today? Um, the, the Page of Pentacles, learning how to break free and speak your mind, fighting for the things that you want, not really with with this five of wands it's almost as if you've laid down the conflict whatever that conflict would have been whether it was within yourself or your environment causing that conflict okay um the judgments are releasing second chances guys 
um, and the death card very powerful so I do feel like this is God working under <laughs> under you like in that sense of for you um, things coming in for you because you haven't given up hope and you still hold your light okay and if you haven't held the light it's almost as if you're going towards the light which is God okay so very beautiful give me one more give me one more please um, okay so coming out of despair regrets blockages okay and letting those wands go oh my god and those obligations the stressful stuff you know things are going to get easier um if you just hold on things might get rocky for a moment but in the end if you hold tight and hold on to that light that's pulling you you're going to be okay all right um so let's see here i want to know what is the karmic cycle here What's the karmic cycle here? Okay, so you got the runner, someone who ran from you, okay, maybe due to fear, due to, um, you know, not being vulnerable, um, listening to their ego and their codependencies, a girl with a snake, so maybe some of them have uh, like a narcissistic person and maybe that's what that high priestess is that sort of blocked them. This girl is going away, guys, okay? Um, addiction, maybe you're dealing with some kind of code, codependent obsessions that blocked you, okay? But the flip side of it is that there is an engagement ring coming. So this is a new commitment, a new starting over again, the boat. So uh, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, changing, okay? And the dragonfly, so be lighthearted, finding out things, coming to light, adapt, there's a lot of things that are going to have to come out and uh, in order for us to get past these things in our lives and we have to sort of adapt but adapt towards the light you know um definitely the the positive light okay and paradise so happiness expansion joy oneness enjoying each other